jump, 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 jumping through the lanes, watch me double dutch, double spin a million in a year so I could double up, uh, ain't no ceilings in my building cause we coming up, double cup, you don't feel us get hit with a uppercut. Okay, so for the editing, um, obviously I can't do it all from scratch because this was a commercial that was already done. We pretty much followed the storyboard, right? What I did was I laid everything out and it was obviously longer than 30 seconds. Once we got the voiceover back, that's when I lined it all up and then I started matching it with whatever she was saying. Normally, I like to cut the shots along with the beat of the instrumental that's playing in the background. However, for this video, that wasn't really the case because to try to match it with the beat, and also with what she was saying, it was pretty tricky. So I did the best that I could in, in that aspect, but the most important part was to line it up with her dialogue, whatever she was saying. Also, right? dates rim and garlic. Everyone's here to have a good time. Pick a drink, we'll grab you a glass. We don't wait until Friday to treat our customers right. Spice things up with one of our favorite real store steaks. So when it came to this shot, everything was shot in slow motion. This one, it took a while to do because just to get the whole timing correctly, you're going to see cuts right here. And what that is, is I played it normally. We don't wait until and then once I cut it, I sped it up. So the, the speed that I did, because this was shot in 60 frames a second, I sped it up to 1200. So once we got up to here, I cut it. And I slowed it down again. Sped it up. Right here to the shot that we wanted to emphasize on. And slowed it down. Now over here, when we arrived here, you're going to see this dissolve. And the reason why there's a dissolve is because when we got to this location, the lighting was different. It was, I believe it was darker here. So what I did was I brightened it up. And so that you wouldn't really notice it, I added a dissolve so it like slowly blends into that. And I think it was also uh, the, the, the color as well because we're going from greens over here and we go to a warm color over here. So there was a few other shots that did not make it to the final cut. For example, there was another shot where by the window there was a couple that they were eating. And over here, the initial shot which you'll see we actually were supposed to show the girl but we did not have the timing to fit everything properly so I made the decision just to cut her off and we started from here which the dish is more important than showing the girl's face another thing was the color grading so we'll go over here now this is what the shot looked like without any color grading so what I did was, since it's pretty warm here, I cooled it off and I, and, and I also brought it a little bit towards the green. The, ex the exposure was left alone. I bumped up the contrast. Uh, I bumped up the shadows a little bit and um, also the blacks. You see this right here? So I kind of brought it down a little bit and I also bumped up the saturation. If I did not do that, this is what it would look like. Oops, sorry. That's what it would look like without the saturation. But I bumped it up and it pops. Because it's food, you're gonna want it to, to pop, especially with a shot like this. So this one, this was also shot in slow motion, but I sped it up because, again, we didn't have uh, enough time to to fit everything in. So sometimes you have to start thinking quick on your feet. And see how it slowed down? Take dream, crispy bacon, and melted cheese. City Tavern, where the weekend starts on Monday. So this one, it was just a quick little... Uh, animation that I did in After Effects because the the shot was really a still shot so I figured you know just to just to match it with that instrument and just like punch in a little bit added a little artistic flair to it so you know kind of did somewhat of a Dutch angle you know threw on some motion blur 
That way it looked like I zoomed in on camera when I really didn't. So even though this was pretty quick, this is what went down in the editing process. We had found the right voice over actress for this since they wanted to to target the the Latin community, we figured we get somebody who has an accent. So there's actually two versions to this. There's the English version and then there's the Spanish version. And we also found a good instrumental that had the Latin vibe to it. So everything screams Latin with this commercial and that's exactly what the client wanted and they were very happy with it.